Hi everybody, it's Karen here from tuppenscoloured.co.uk. Thank you very, very much for joining me today. Uh, for today's project, I've been taking a look inside the Stampin' Up! catalogue. Now, we used to call it the Ideas Book because when you look inside, there are lots and lots of wonderful ideas. And today, I have been inspired by this page, uh, the Tranquil Tide Textures Suite. Now, uh, there's a lot of brilliant ideas here, but this is the one that I am going to be focusing on today. Can you see it there? That little, um, little aquarium almost sitting in the back of the picture there. So uh, I've made my own take on it, so stay with me and I'll show you how it came out. Here are the supplies that I'm going to be using for my project today. I've got a clear tiny treat box, that's going to be my aquarium, and then I've got a piece of crumb cake and some lemon lime twist, some mint macaron, tranquil tide, uh, soft sea foam and some pumpkin pie. This is a great scraps buster this one. I'm going to use the little goldfish from the Jars of Love stamps and I'm going to be using some of the stamps in the Sea of Textures set. I'm going to use my little stamping spots today so I've got uh, soft suede, Granny Apple Green and Pumpkin Pie. I'm using the Iridescent Sequence and I'm going to use the Little Goldfish from the Everyday Jars Framelets. And I'm also going to use some of the dyes from the Under the Sea Framelets. I'm going to use my Stamparatus to help me stamp my little goldfish today uh, and I've already gone ahead over to my Big Shot and I've die cut out the goldfish from the pumpkin pie card and I've kept the uh, the waste which I've stuck down onto the foam mat of the Stamparatus because these are photopolymer stamps and I need a little bit of extra cushioning. So here's my, uh, my photopolymer stamp. And I'm just going to line that up with the space in the, the waste card. And I'm going to keep that to use uh, in case I want to do this stamp again. All right, so I'm just picking that up on the plate of the Stamparatus. And now I'm putting that little goldfish shaped piece back into the, uh, the card it came from. And I'm just going to ink up the stamp. And I'm using... The, uh, the stamp case to help support the plate of the Stamparatus. So I'm doing lots and lots of light tapping and just press that down. Give it a firm press and if I pick that up you can see that I have a perfectly stamped goldfish. With the big shot I die cut uh, these three uh, shapes and they have a, a corresponding stamp so I want to add the stamp to those shapes and again I'm using my Stamparatus and I've got some grid paper down and uh, I am just going to stamp onto that grid paper. Now I've got one of the, uh, the waste pieces from my die cutting so I'm just going to line that up over the top of uh, my stamped image. And just going to stick that down with a bit of low tack tape. And again, I will I'll keep this piece uh, and I'll store it with the dies in case I want to do this again. Now I'm lining up my shape, inking up, and I'm using Granny Apple Green and push down. And there's my shape. And all I have to do is to repeat that. Or the other two pieces or as many pieces uh, as I want to die cut and I'll have a perfect result every time. So I'm going to mount up my my little die cut pieces and I've got some of this which is just a piece of clear plastic wrapping material, packaging material and uh, I've just uh, folded it back on itself to make a sort of a, an L-shaped piece. Let me show you that. 
Can you see? It's, uh, so it's going to make a little stand for my pieces. Let me show it to you. Perhaps you can see it a bit better against the cardboard there. Now to stick this down, I'm going to use a solvent-based adhesive. I could use glue dots, but I don't get on well with glue dots as a general, as a general rule. So uh, I'm just going to use the, the solvent adhesive uh, because that will give me a nice quick grab. So set that aside to dry and put it with the others that I've already I have a two inch square of crumb cake card here and I've uh, gone ahead and done some stamping on the back with some of the stamps from the Sea of Texture set. And now I'm just going to add a couple of little die cut pieces to the back. Uh, this little star is from the centre of one of the sand dollar dies. And if you do it in pumpkin pie, I think it makes rather a cute little starfish. So uh, that is going to be the background of my aquarium. And now I'm going to build up the scene on a two inch square of crumb cake. And I'm going to use glue dots for this because uh, I want things to stick down quickly. So I'm just applying some glue dots to the base of uh, those fronds and if I need to I'm gonna just trim them down a bit so that uh, they don't bump into each other and just pop in a glue dot onto the base. Now here's the little goldfish now I did build him up on a bit of a stand so that he uh, he will swim through the fronds rather than look at the at the bottom of the aquarium because we don't want that. And I'm just arranging these and putting the, the shorter ones towards what's going to be the front of my scene so that they don't cover up my little goldfish. And oh, the other thing is to make sure that they don't overhang the edge of the base because then they would bump into the walls of the aquarium and we don't want that. And there it is finished. Now I'm going to put the sequins onto the base of the card. So uh, I'm putting down a nice generous layer of liquid adhesive and uh, it doesn't want to stick where the acetate is so I may have to come back with my solvent adhesive but we'll see how it goes. So I'm doing a little bit at a time and I'm just sprinkling the sequins onto the base. And I'm going to carry on and do the rest of it and then give it plenty of time for the, uh, the adhesive to set. Now I'm putting it all together so I'm going to begin by taking off the clear protective sheet that comes on the tiny treat boxes. Don't need that. And I'm just going to uh, work the folds uh, on, the, on the box until they are uh, uh, into shape and I'm going to hold it all together with a couple of glue dots. So I'm just going to start by popping a glue dot onto the corners of my background piece. I'm just going to do the, the two top corners and just carefully make sure that the flaps of the the treat box are out of the way so that they don't uh, they don't get in my way and I'm just going to pop that onto the box and when it's where I want it I'm just gonna press down to hold the glue dots in place and I've got an escaped sequin there so I'm going to add uh, some sequins to the uh, to the back and uh, I don't know whether you can see there but I put a line of adhesive onto the, the background and I uh, stuck some. And now I just need to close up the base of the box so the two side flaps go in first, one, two, and then the, uh, the one with the big 
cut out and then the tab fits into it. Not easy to see on a clear box but uh, that is the best way of doing it I think. Alright so I'm just making sure that uh, all of those flaps are out of the way and now I'm going to put some glue dots onto the base of my little aquarium. And I've given this plenty of time for the adhesive to set. And uh, I did have to go in into one or two places with a bit of the uh, solvent based adhesive so that the sequins would uh, stick on top of the, the plastic or the acetate. I'm just pressing that down with my, uh, my piercing tool, a couple of stray sequins pop those back inside and now all I have to do is to close up the lid of the box and uh, it's nearly finished. There's just one more thing and that is to add a sentiment. So I've gone ahead and uh, I've stamped this onto my crumb cake with my soft suede ink and I'm just going to stick that into place with a glue dot and the sentiment is from the uh, the sea of textures set and just press that down and there you go that's finished well okay it's only almost finished because when I looked at the uh, picture in the catalog and compared it with my take on it uh, as you can see there is a, a little bow of twine and mine doesn't have that yet so uh, I think that what they used is the um, is, is the twine from the suite and they also use the sprinkles from from the suite where I used the the sequence because I didn't have any of the sprinkles um, and I also didn't have any of the twine but what I do have is some of this. This is called uh, this is called nature's twine and uh, it comes in four colors and I'm using some of the the mint macaron and I actually got this at on stage which is our stamping up event that happens twice a year we all get together and uh, I got a sample of this and uh, didn't think I'd ever use it so here we go shows how wrong you can be so now I'm just going to tie a bow onto the top of my little mini aquarium or maybe it's a micro aquarium it's super super tiny all right and uh, I'm just going to tidy that up a little bit just pull on the ends here and there and yeah I'm I'm pretty happy with that and uh, there you go so there it is there is my finished micro aquarium and I think that would be a lovely little novelty to give to somebody a little gift Oops. I think it's super super cute anyway so uh, I do hope that you've enjoyed this video and I do thank you very very much for joining me and putting up with the somewhat ropey sound. Uh, that is it for today. Come back and see me again soon sometime, won't you? But for now, bye bye.